I've been a bit of a shit stirrer. I've got my big wooden spoon out and I decided to reach out to Care Size number one fan. Also no, goes by their fan. Um, he's some kind of misfits loving friends with Keemstar and all this shit. Um, don't know too much about him, but I heard him and Guru were having a bit of a back and forth a few months ago after the KSI Tommy Fury fight. The fan put out this video getting a bit emotional about KSI being robbed. And Guru replied saying, I'm not going to make fun of him, he's autistic. And then that sort of kick-started this little thing between the two. And then I decided to reach out to uh, the fan. Except by reach out, I mean, I paid him £2.50 on Cameo to answer one of my questions. That question was about MMA Guru. And we got quite a quite a juicy response. It, well, well uh, I mean, we think he and Gary's cringe, but this kind of steps it up. But I like the fucking drama. I've got the big wooden spoon out. Sorry, Guru, but it, it had to be done for £2.50. I'll, I'll fucking cunt I'll fucking cunt So we're going to take a look at what started it. And then I'll play the video that I got sent to me from the fan. So we're, this is uh, the beginning. You fucking scumbags, you robbed KSI. The fan crying was insane. Dude, I feel bad for the fan. Let's not talk about the fan. I saw a, it was a video on that um, Fox the G's channel on YouTube. And it was I mean, I don't know how bad he actually feels. I think it's part of his stick. He's trying to go, oh, I feel bad for him, pity him, and like, but he's being a bit condescending. Let's face it. It's a video of the fan laying down on a sofa, and I swear it was just, he was such a messy sludge of a guy. Like, I don't know. I... <laughs> a messy sludge of the guy. Um, so, next one was um, a few a few months after, uh, a few weeks after, I think this was, uh, the guru threatens. He went from feeling sorry for the guy because he's autistic and we're going to leave him alone to threatening him. Let's let's see it. Because what happened is I think the, the fans started calling out MMA Guru for a fight, offered him 10k for to fight on Misfits. Um, MMA Guru states he never got a contract, so there was nothing to sign. And he said, I wouldn't take the fight anyway, but next time I see you, I'll brutally assault you. So we'll take a look at that. This is a very touchy thing because he's, I've seen a video of him and he's made his life to be a fan of KSI and he cried when KSI lost a fight. He very obviously has special needs. I, I'm, I'm just not interested, man. I, I'm not trying to be insulting and I'm not trying to go at him too much. But I'm actually serious. He very clearly has special needs. And it is sad. And I just... You know I mean? It's like I can't insult him or like counterattack what he's saying without being a cunt. I'm fairly certain he's got some kind of Down syndrome. And I'm just not interested in that. Like, I don't need that. You know what I mean? Like, and that, that, that's my honest take on it. So clip this up and send it round. Like, I'm fit, like, to live your life vicariously through KSI and cry when he lost. Make up a post on Twitter. I'm fairly certain he's got Down syndrome, and I just don't <laughs> need that in my life. Like, I'm doing good, man. I mean, he goes on to say he's got special needs and Down syndrome, but then uh, soon after he says he's going to viciously beat the guy. So... Uh... Which is it, Guru? I'm I'm kind of confused. Like one one minute you're saying he's got special needs and you wouldn't go there, you won't fight him because he's simple. Next minute you you're saying you're going to attack a special needs person in the street. I don't know if he's got special needs. Maybe he's got something. We've all got fucking something. I think he's. A, I don't know if he's a bit of a character and he's pushing it or whether he is actually serious. That is who he is. I don't know. Uh, you know what I mean? I make literally the fight that Keemstar said he'd give me 10k to show, 10k to win. So 20k. If you want me to be real vain at the moment, I literally make that in a week, dollars, like two weeks, depending on the week. Like, I'm not interested, man. Like, just go elsewhere, take your medication. Like, I do think he has Down syndrome and I'm not fighting him, man. Like, have a good day. He's watching stream. 
Dude, not I'm so money. sorry, man. I'm not trying to fight a kid with Down syndrome. Like, I appreciate you're trying to get out there and get your name out there, man. I just, I don't need that, man. You know what I mean? Like, you have Downs. I get it. It's sad. You live vicariously through KSI. But, like, I don't make up posts on Twitter. You know what I mean? I haven't even been sent a contract. Good luck with whatever condition you're dealing with that makes you live vicariously through another human on Twitter. But I'm just not. I'm not fighting you for 10K, dude. Like, have a good day. He said he would slap your IRL. You know what, fan? I'm not going to fight you. But sometime in 2024, I know you're from the UK. I'm actually going to say this right now. I'm not going to fight you and do an event because you're not a person. Slap me in IRL and I'll actually legally, viciously assault you. I don't care if you have Down <laughs> syndrome. I'll give you fucking two <laughs> extra chromosomes after I've finished caving your head into concrete. End of discussion. Like I. Okay, so he, he started. Okay, he did say in self defense. If you, if you do slap me, I'll fucking, I'll fucking have you. And then he did join. He did fucking join one of their Twitter spaces. And let's have a look. He joined around here. Happening, guru, you fucking bitch. Got it. Am I actually in the call? Can you hear me? Bro, yeah, I'm you're muted. You're muted. You're muted. Fuck you, fat ass. Yeah, we hear you. Bro, sign the contract. There isn't a contract. Bro, hair is greasy, now. buddy. Yo, Bogdan, there there is. Down one round, bro, bro, there is. You signed it. So, yeah, they go back and forth a bit about this contract shit. Um, apparently, he was sent a contract. Guru said there was no contract that was sent out to him. And even if it was, he's not. He's not. He makes more money on, on a weekly basis than he would to fight and misfits go through all the training all the palaver lose you know get in shape for fighting he wants more money than that i think he said 100k he wants to fight so 10k is not nothing especially against a, a ksi fan i don't think that really is going to pull any numbers today my guy i didn't sign the contract today my guy all right so why <laughs> yeah, you in a minute, he starts <laughs> everything he said on stream. He, he fucking goes for him. He goes straight for the fucking uh, the fucking throat. He doesn't hold back. He calls him a downs. He calls him autistic. He goes the full works because why there isn't a bro? contract to sign. Bro, Keem sent you the contract. Keem sent you it, bro. Keem didn't send, send me a contract. Bro, he did. Keem didn't. He did. He did, bro. Yeah, bro. Okay. Listen, the I'm better the baby. Yeah, one, one retard at a time, please. One retard at a time. I can't listen to everyone. Listen, I'm the baby nightmare, my guy. Who's, who's this one talking? Ooh, that shit. I love how, I love how he, he gets away with saying all this shit to him, and they, they, they absolutely fucking, they do nothing. They, they almost just bypass everything that he says because they, they that, I think they, they that stupid. I really do think they that stupid that they just, ignore everything that anyone else is saying and they just continue to repeat the same shit anyway it goes it goes on and on about shit you spoke about ksi bro i'm gonna punish you who's this one's oh is this the fan actually oh, speaking now that's you it's me man. with the yes, fake good the accent baby, man, man. all right cool that's you i didn't know you sounded, baby, like man, that. Man. sounded like that yeah yeah all right listen so why are you making excuses you know you're not worth 500k man. yeah the 500k was a stretch but man i feel bad for you man you know you're being used your down syndrome is being taken advantage of and i actually feel no bad no bro listen i'm the baby i can't let you talk shit about ksi bro bro you, you he's more away. he's more Interestingly, he's more bothered about the shit that he's talking about KSI than the shit that he's talking about him. He's called him Downs, he's called him autistic, he's called him a retard. And still, at this point, he's not defending himself. He's defending KSI, which is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Anyway, the next video that I'm going to show you is the video of the fan. So uh, enjoy the video of the fan and his reply to all this bullshit that's been going on between the two. And I'll see you in the next one. This is the fan. And I've got a message for you, MMA Guru. Listen, MMA Guru, I hear that you're saying that you're going to brutally assault me when you see me. Guess what, bro? <laughs> These knuckle sandwiches, bro. They've got something to say about that. Bro, I dare you to come and visually assault me, bro. I'm ready, bro. I've been training, bro. You don't even know the work I've been putting in the gym. Lifting weights, bro. Like shadow boxing, bro. Yeah, I train at KSI's gym, bitch. Yeah, you'll never brutally assault me. 
And lastly, I would like to say subscribe to Brutally Honest MMA.